Hi Virgo, I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what's coming through for you guys. Mid May to mid June, okay? We're gonna take a look at what the energy the strongest represent your energy. First of all, we're gonna um, use the pendulum to ask to answer your question. Okay, this is a yes and no question. Think of one question. And then we're gonna look at tarot messages and see what's one to come through. This could be work related love related relationship in general whatever that is that i want to come through for you okay let's grab our energy first thank you let's see what's coming through for virgo sun moon rising venus and mars so we're gonna think of one question. Let's see. For Virgo, for this reading. Virgo, you got yes. Whatever that is that you ask for, the answer is yes, okay? Let's see what's coming through for you for this reading. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. Mid May to mid June. Thank you. Let's see what's coming through for Virgo. That's the first card. I'm hearing like something taking time, but it's going to blossom. It's like when we plant the seed. The flower is going to bloom. I'm being asked to be patient, I feel. First card, we have the Nine of Sword. <laughs> I love how I say, like, being patient. The Nine of Sword is like the fastest energy, right? This can talk about communication. This can talk about something, someone's coming your way. Someone want to rush things. Someone really want to know the answer or they could be like try to rush you to say yes or really want to know things this is the information i don't feel like it's gonna sit well with you because at the earth side you prefer something more stable you don't want anything too too fast too soon whatever that is to you okay let me just say yeah but it's like someone demanding something um, the next card we have the wheel of fortune this one is called the wheel of the year similar like things are looking up for you virgo i feel like it's definitely your season it's how west time for you definitely the plant the seed that you plant i definitely see a result of your hard work if you if this is not a person and if it's not if this is your neck um your self-talk try to rush things try to control things just knowing that you can only control yourself your action your word right um with the wheel of fortune here it's like trust in divine timing trust in the you know this is you surrender the control to the universe let the universe work for you through you um not to because like sometimes we can kind of delay what's supposed to happen for us because we like so hold on so tightly of how it's supposed to happen or you know maybe you're waiting for someone or you're waiting for things to happen in a certain way um but i feel like abundance can come in so many forms um, release the expectation, release of, you know, the attachment of how things should be. That's also what I'm seeing because I feel like, um, I feel like the device working for you, but it's in a way that you not expect it, right? This come in form of opportunity. I feel like with the yes from the pendulum earlier, I feel like it's the year of you saying more yes. 
you know, yes to more things that scare you, yes to risk, yes to following your dream, yes to putting yourself out there, yes to a project that or a dreams that you want to do when you were young, you know, it's something like that. I feel like stepping out of your comfort zone, but in a good way, because that's something that you've been wanting to do, but maybe, you know, life getting in the way, responsibility, you know, maybe for some of you guys, you could have like family or, or you're taking care of children and, you know, maybe you have to like um, take a break from something. But I feel like, and also for some of you, I feel like it's a, a transition period. You know, for example, I, I'm hearing the example how a mother, right, taking care of the child, that's just like your role, the role is to be a mother, right? And once the child, the children grown up, they, they become an adult, they move out of the house, they're having their own family, um, they're having their own life, and you kind of like, oh, wow, I don't need to be, I don't need to, you know, sacrifice myself. Like, this is kind of like, okay, I have all this free time, what can I do? Maybe you... You know, you pick up a new hobby or not hobby, pick up a new hobbies um, or learning something that you always want to learn. For some of you guys, is traveling. Um, because I'm, I'm keep getting this uh, example how like this lady, this mother who when she when she's like taking care of her children, she has to give up on like traveling. Her dream is to travel the world, but because she has family, so. She makes sure she work hard, all the student, you know, taking care of, but when the student like grown up and move out, then she used that time and the, mon and, um, and the money saving to go and just travel and travel. And it's never too late to follow what it is that you want to do, right? Your dreams. As long as we still breathing, you can still do something that bring you joy. That's also what I'm saying. Like it doesn't take away of you, of, you know, your roles, right? It's just like, it's like we add joy to our life. It's also benefiting people around us because they see like, wow, you can follow your dream. You can, you know, it's never too late for you to start something or end something, right? This is like, for, for some of you, it's like say yes more to what make you feel alive and saying no to anything that draining your energy. This could be relationship. This could be a connection in your life. This could be moving somewhere or setting healthy boundary with people close to you um that's also what i'm seeing because i feel like when people truly care love for you yes there could be some sort of misunderstanding or you know some disagreement but at the end of the day when someone truly love and care for you for your well-being they would love to to see you succeed or follow your dreams or being happy right so in a way it's a two-way. So you're doing this for yourself. It's also benefit people around you, like I said before. I love that. I love that for you. At the bottom of the deck, we have the emperor. Oh my god, how fitting this is. Look at the emperor. Usually the emperor in traditional deck, you can see like one one like masculine energy. But this is you see the emperor look at that two shoot in there. So the emperor is all about taking back your power. Is there any situation in your life that you're giving your power away that you didn't spe uh, like stand up or speak your mind? Um, for, for some of you, I do see like you set bar proper boundary, you claim. And for some of you, it, this could be like a different lifetime where you reclaim your energy back in all of the lifetime or in all the dimension. That's the kind of thing that I'm seeing. Like... Um, Again, this emperor look at the children. This can be someone young in your family that you're taking care of and you also let them learn their old lesson, you know? Like, you already support the best you can, but you can't over-protecting them because otherwise they would never learn the lesson and they can't be okay without you. So this is like teaching. When you love someone, you want them to be independent. You want them to have, you know all the wisdom and and learn all the lesson that you learn once that's your that job is done then it's time for them to go on their own next chapter or their own adventure the next chapter of their life for some of you guys you are nurturing your inner child anything that you didn't get to do when you were younger you reparent you reparenting yourself 
you could be you know i feel like for some of you guys this is like um giving gift to yourself celebrating yourself instead of waiting for someone to show up for you or give you a gift or have all this expectation you're kind of like you know what i'm gonna do this for me the more you learn to slow down and celebrating yourself and give you a gift then you allowing other people to celebrate you and giving you gift by their own term you know that's kind of it's more free flowing that's kind of thing that i'm seeing as well wow this is beautiful like release and let's go of the grief of controlling or i have to know everything 100 i have to be controlled everything 100 this is you letting things flow too like you put in the work you plan your seed now enjoy the fruit of your labor is harvesting time for you i love i love this so much virgo anyway guys thank you so much again for your love and support i'll talk to you soon love and light